Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use uh, uh, Google Meet, how you can schedule a session or a class in Google Meet. Thereafter, I'm going to demonstrate how to copy the link uh, in Google Meet and pasting it in Moodle. Now, the first thing that I need to mention here is that uh, when you're trying to create a session in Google Meet, you must use um, the Nipa uh, Gmail account that has been created for you. Do not use your personal Gmail accounts because your personal Gmail accounts uh, have got limited features. So once you enter your email account and I'm going to enter my password. Once I enter my password, um, the system is going to take me to the dashboard for, uh, for, 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 for Gmail. Um, now, the first icon that is of our interest is an icon called uh, uh, Google Apps, like you can see it here with the dots. So this is what we call the Google Apps, uh, where we're going to click first. So if I click on Google Apps, then Google Apps is going to show me the various icons that are there. And for now, our key interest is uh, coming where it's written uh, calendar. So I'll click on the calendar. and. Uh, once I click on the calendar, the system is going to take me here. And uh, once it takes me to this particular calendar, I will need to click on a uh, on the icon called Create. Now, once we've clicked on Create, the system is going to bring up the window known as the window, uh, the event uh, window screen. Now, it is this particular event window screen that will help us to do the scheduling. Now, when this window comes, um, what happens is that we'll come and click at the bottom here where it's written more options. So I'll click here, more options, and the event detailed window is going to be opened. Now, um, the first thing that is of our interest here is to change uh, the title. So, for instance, the title here, what we're going to put is um, the course code plus the course name. So, like, for example, with me, I'm going to use uh, BCS. Uh, 301 and a course code uh, I mean the course name is uh, programming uh, programming in Java right now once I've done that the second thing that is uh, I need to you know take care of is the dates when I'm going to be having this class so uh, my classes are starting today on the 25th and uh, so I'll leave it here but in case if probably your class was starting you know, maybe tomorrow or the other day you just click on this particular calendar then the um, the calendar is going to be displayed and you can put any particular day you so wish by you know clicking directly on on, on the particular you know you know day when your classes are, are are going to start so i'm going to click on the 25th for me since it's starting today and um the next thing is uh the time okay the timings so my class maybe probably um hypothetically speaking i can say it will start at uh, at 6.30, at 18.30. So I'll put 18.30, then the system will automatically find um, the finishing time for me. Then here, um, the finishing date, this is the date when classes are going to, uh, are going to end. Um, so in this particular case, we're saying when is the semester ending? So if I click on this calendar, I can scroll through because hypothetically we can say maybe classes are ending in November so I'm going to scroll up until November and I put that the classes are ending on the 30th so I'll put 30th there once I've done that um, the third thing that is of our interest is uh, coming here where it's written do not repeat so here we want to specify when am I going to be having these classes so once you click on do not repeat I will come at the bottom here where it's written custom right now, um, so here I need to specify when am I going to be having sessions with my students. So, like I mentioned that one of the classes I'm having is today on a Tuesday. So the next one I'll, you know, I'm having is on a Wednesday, right? So you can, whatever days that you're going to be having with the students, you can specify that for me it's Tuesday and Wednesday. So I'll come here and click on Wednesday, right? So by doing that, it means I've specified um, the day when I'm going to be having sessions with the students. So once i've done that i will come and click on done now the fourth thing that i'm going to uh, do is to come and click on 
add Google Meet video conferencing to help us generate the Google Meet ID. So I'll click here and the system you notice here it will generate the ID, right? Then the fifth thing I will do is to come here where it's written busy. I will change it so that I can say I am free on that day to have session with my students. And uh, the sixth thing is uh, visibility. So I will click here and put it to private because I want only my students um, that are taking the course programming in Java to have access to my class. So once we are done, you know, making these changes, I will click on save. Right now, once I've done that, then it means the system is going to save those particular changes. And if I come to my calendar here, I will see um, that here one of the courses that has been added is uh, uh, programming in Java. Right, so you come and click just on the icon there on the label there programming in Java, and uh, this window um, is going to pop up now. You hover the cursor on join with Google Meet. Now, once you do that, uh, what's going to happen is that an icon is going to appear at the far end here. This particular icon. If I hover the cursor away, the icon disappears. I hover the cursor towards it, it's going to appear. And you bring the cursor right on the icon to copy the conference link, right? So I will click here. So um, the system will tell me that uh, the link has been successively uh, be copped. So I will come and uh, uh, close this window. Now, the second step is to go to Moodle, right? So I'll go to Moodle, right? And you enter your username and password. Of course, I think that we know that by now. So I'll go to my Moodle and I will come to my course intro uh, programming in Java. Okay, so I'll click it, and now once I click it, remember that in Moodle, all the time when we want to uh, make adjustments, we we'll need to turn the editing uh, on. So that's the first thing that we're going to do, and we'll find that button here, turn editing on. So I'll click there, and uh, once I've done that, uh, the system is going to take me in the editing mode. Uh, for Moodle where now I'll make the necessary adjustments. So once that has been done You can come like here where it's written topic one and uh, Click on edit Right and you say edit topic now um, We'll need to change the topic uh, from its default name topic one and uh, to our you know assign name so we'll do that by checking there on custom and here I'll click and now I'll change it and say um, I can say virtual okay I want to put it in lowercase I'll say this is a virtual virtual class for uh, BCS 301 then I say programming in Java okay that's the only thing that I'm going to do here I'll scroll down and uh, click on save changes okay I'll scroll down and click on save uh, save changes now once I've, I've, I've done that and scroll down and click on save changes um, the system is going to take me back okay the system is going to take me back. The system is going to take me back here. Yeah? And uh, you'll notice that now I have like virtual class for BCS uh, 301. Now the next thing I need to do is to click on or add an activity to it. So I'll click on add activity or resource. So I'll click there. And uh, now the system is going to populate the activity or resources uh, dialog box. So um, I think this is the same thing that we're doing for adding of assignments, but only this particular time, we are not dealing with assignments. We are interested in an icon called URL, all right? We're interested in an icon called URL. So I'll click on the URL and uh, the system is going to take us to this particular window, right? 
and here again I'm going to add a name so I'll say click uh, click okay would say click uh, uh, click here to join uh, click here to join uh, the class uh, to join actually we can say to join the virtual uh, class for uh, BCS 301 okay you can say programming in Java uh oh programming in Java right now here once we've done that we come to the next text box where it says external link now remember that link which we did copy in uh, in Google Meets so here because the system keeps that in memory I'll just right click and say paste okay now once we've done that I can scroll down here and come here and say save and display okay save and display so once you have uh, done that it means you have, you have finished uh, you know integrating uh, the google meets and uh, and moodle all right because uh, once we've done that the system now is going to take care uh, in the background uh, of, of all the nitty-gritty of it okay now the last aspect okay so i can go back on the dashboard uh, i can go back on the dashboard and uh once i go back on the dashboard i just want us to see how it's going to appear okay then click on trees one now what you should understand is that when we are okay we're here so it will display now um, this is how it's going to be. This is how it's going to display what we just from creating and students when they log in They'll be coming to click the button below there so we can change now and turn the editing off Now as a lecturer when you are ready to start having classes, you are not going to be logging into Moodle Okay, you're not going to be logging into Moodle for you to start your um, virtual classes but instead you'll be logging into your gmail account okay and once you log in into your gmail account you can come back and click on the google uh, apps all right so when you click here this time you're not going to the calendar this time you come and click on the icon called meet so if i click on this icon called meet and uh it is now the meet is going to show me the classes that i'm having today like for example this is the one that we have created programming in java so if i click here now the system is going to take me um to the virtual class where students are going to to start logging in so this is how you know um this is how uh, we, we we schedule and uh, create a session in google meet and later on um and later on uh later on try to go to moodle and you know uh, create the link so if you have any questions you can contact the